So the topic for today's video is how to add YouTube channel video details in Google Sheets automatically. So here, as soon as you and your team will upload any new video in your YouTube channel, the details related to that video will be added automatically into your spreadsheet. Like the video ID, the video title, the video URL, the description date and time of publish and even the thumbnail URL. So if you also want to keep a track record of all the uploaded videos of your channel into a spreadsheet then come with me and I will show you how you can set this automation for yourself so basically in order to automate this process we will have to firstly connect these two application like YouTube and Google Sheets and I am going to build a connection in these application with the help of Pabli Connect which is an amazing and a very cost-effective integration and automation software and I am an existing user of Pabli Connect so you can notice I am already logged in you can also create your free account in Pabli Connect in just to two minutes from the sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation now after login and reaching out to the dashboard of Pabli connect firstly click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay and simply click on create and after that you will find two boxes in front of you okay so these boxes are actually called as trigger and action and here trigger means when this happens and action means do this so whenever this happen then automatically do this understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application to your customer okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation in this trigger and the action window okay and now according to our use case i want that whenever any new video is added in youtube application so that is why i will select youtube here in the trigger uh, then automatically add the video details in Google Sheets application so here I will select a Google Sheets in this action application okay so I have selected both the applications in the trigger and the action window okay and now the idea here is I will connect both the applications one by one with the Pabli connect okay so let us first connect the YouTube application with the Pabli connect okay so select the trigger event so here I want that whenever any new video is uploaded in a channel with with a URL with a video URL this automation should trigger okay so I have uh, selected the same now simply click on connect and then click on add new connection and click on this connect with the YouTube okay and then you will have to provide the access of your YouTube channel okay but I have provided this access multiple times so I'll go with the existing connection uh, if you are building this automation for the first time make sure you always go with the new connection only but after that you can also go with the existing connection here you can notice my youtube channel is connected with the Pabli connect and that is why the same channel name basically the channel id is visible here you can notice this demo channel and let me show you the same thing that is demo channel okay so now i'll click on this button and you will notice that whatever the most recent video is published on my channel the details of that video first will be captured via Pabli connect as a response okay so that is why in front of you I will upload a new video and then I will click on that button button okay so let me upload some random video okay so I am going here and let me search for some random video okay so this is the video file which I am about to upload here okay now as a title I will add this how to contact to Pabli connect team I am adding this specific title and you will notice that the same details will be collected via Pabli connect whatever the details I am adding here at the time of upload okay these details will be added to spreadsheet these details firstly captured via Pabli connect asking for the playlist okay so let me also select any random playlist and then I am going to add I'm going to click on this no it's not made for kids let me select a random thumbnail also from here 
all right so i have selected a random thumbnail also so i think i have provided all the important details like the title and the description and the thumbnails now i am going to publish this video in front of you okay visibility of course going to be public for now clicking on publish okay waiting for this video to upload here and here you can notice the video is published now i'll come back to pably connect and let us click on this button save and send test request and i am really expecting that the new video data will be received as a response so here you can notice the response is received and we have the video data but this is not the data of that most recent video so how about i click on this button once again and you will notice that the details will be captured so here you can notice we have the same video url let me open this video in front of you and you will notice it is the same video url okay so yes it is the same video and even with the same title let me maximize it so that you can see the data clearly all right so this is the video title this is the same description which i have updated okay so i have all the details let me even show you the same details in this particular response okay so here we have the video url here we have the embedded url here we have the video id here we have the title of the video and we even have the description the thumbnail default url and let me show you the date and time of the publish okay so we have the published timing as this okay so here you can notice the timing is actually different because currently it is 5 10 pm and this timing is actually 11 38 okay so basically it has been captured into the utc format so don't worry about that we will convert this timing into the normal timing and you will get the exact timing okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between our youtube application in between our youtube channel and public connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards every time someone is going to upload a new video here the details will be captured via public connect in every 10 minutes okay yes this trigger will check for the new data in every 10 minutes okay so just in case if you have uploaded any video here the details are not getting captured simply click on this button multiple times or at least wait for 10 minutes and after that when you'll click on this button you will be able to see the same result here okay so the first step of our automation is done and now i'm going to add all these details into the google sheets so the application is already selected in the action event of course firstly i will add a new row and in that new row the data will be updated automatically and just like we have connected youtube and public connect now i am going to connect to google sheets with the public connect and again i have provided this access multiple times okay so how about i go with the existing connection you will have to go with the new connection if you are building this connection for the first time but if uh, you have already connected you can also go with the existing connection now simply click on save and this is how google sheets account will be also connected with the pably connect so here you can notice we are connected and whatever the spreadsheets are available inside my google sheets account have started visible here because we are connected okay so i'll go with which particular spreadsheet okay so i have the name of the spreadsheet as all published youtube channel videos okay that is visible at the top only and in the sheet also here i have a single sheet that is sheet one and again it has got selected automatically now here you can see some features okay so these fields are actually the same column names which i have and added into this spreadsheet okay so i have this id title url description date and time and thumbnail url and you will be able to notice the same columns as the field name that is the video id title url description date and time of publish and thumbnail url okay so i'm going to provide the details one by one here and the interesting thing is i'm not going to copy this data manually and paste it here one by one i'm going to map this data okay and mapping is very simple click on this field and you will find the above data the same data here in the drop down so this is the video id which i have mapped okay in the same way i'm going to map other values also okay 
so you must be thinking that what is this mapping okay so whatever the details i am mapping here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time or we can say in next time yes with every new video upload these details the existing details will be replaced automatically and new video data will be updated here automatically okay date and time of published well remember i have shown you that we have the time difference date and time difference here so i am going to change the format of this date how we can do that before your google sheet step you'll have to click on this plus icon and simply search for the date and time formatter which is an amazing feature of pably connect via which you can apply different kind of operations within your date and time okay so in the action event since i wanted to format the date along with the time zone so i have selected the same and simply click on connect and it will be connected immediately now firstly it will ask you that on which particular date you would like to perform this uh, formatting operation okay so again i am going to map the above date okay so where is the start or it was actually the published date okay let me search for the same and here we have the published date and time as this asking for the from and to format okay so well from format is already selected you can even notice that you can even compare that we we have this y y y y m m d d and then t h h m m s s z okay and the same format is selected here y y y y m m d d t h h m m s s z okay and in the two format how about i capture the same date into more simpler format okay so how about i capture the date and time in this y y m m d d and then h h m m s s okay so i have selected the same and in the from time zone of course i will search for utc and etc okay so i have selected the same and this time i will select asia slash kolkata and i am really expecting that i will receive the same date and time the exact date and time as a response once i will click on that button and here you can notice we have the timing of 5853 and yes we have around the same time okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that our date and time formatter feature is working absolutely fine and now i am going to add this particular date and time here but you will notice that the recent data is actually not visible here okay so i am going to do one thing simply clicking on save and then i will refresh this automation and you will notice all the details will be replaced here automatically all right so i have refreshed my automation let me open this google sheets step and here you can notice all the details have been mapped automatically now finally i will map the thumbnail url and date and time of publish and instead of mapping instead of taking the date from this step i will take the new date and time format and finally i'll search for the thumbnail url also which is this okay so how about i add this medium size url okay now finally i'll click on this button and you will notice that as soon as i click on that button and a response is received the details will be added to spreadsheet okay so the response is received going back to my spreadsheet and here you can notice we have the same video id we have the same video title the url the same description we even have the same timing as 178 and even the thumbnail url okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that connection in our spreadsheet and pably connect is also working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time you and your team is going to upload any new video on your youtube channel after 10 minutes those details those youtube video details will be added to spreadsheet automatically in this way your other team members can keep a track record of all the published videos and in this way your team member can actually access the recently published videos and further they can share the same video on multiple social networking sites okay so that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation because with the help of mapping these details will be replaced automatically as soon as a new video is published here okay and in order to automate this process simply set this automation inside pably connect for once after that you can sit back and relax because pably connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually okay and just in case if you want to access this three step automation 
button inside your Pabli Connect account. I will also attach the link of my automation video into the description box. Okay, so simply click on this link and then sign up into the Pabli Connect, and then you will be able to access this three-step automation inside your Pabli Connect account also. That too for free. Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect and for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.